I almost forgot to mention, now I did mention about the the black minister from the church that used to go to about 14, 15 years ago. And that he was targeted, selected by groups. They, he was a, a the black guy who was a criminal and the police had approached him and they paid for everything and they sent him back into the U.S. Uh, mainland to be a minister. Well, what I almost forgot, and I mentioned in past, 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 past videos ago, but I want to tie that in with this. Now, not all these people that target black neighborhoods to become ministers, and I, and I, my instinct's telling me it's to be used as, like, a spy network or money laundering, something, not savory, but mainly to infiltrate the community so you know what's going on, so there's no more black saviors like Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., okay? Not all of these are so-called Christian ministers. You have people community who are starting up churches in black neighborhoods. You, you, heard, you, you heard me right. Not all these people are Christian. Some of them are and are planting Christian churches in black neighborhoods. Let me explain. Well, in 2002, 2002, I had a friend, a Protestant, I think more like a Pentecostal type. She attended a storefront church in Queens, New York, in New York City, one of the five boroughs. And she invited me and some other people that we, we all knew. And the pastor was a, a, an older black man and his wife. They, they seemed like nice people, just regular, traditional black folks, older black folks of their day. They'd be in the 80s now, or maybe the 90s now. And so the, the, the minister, the, the guy, it was a husband and wife. But it was the, the husband that did all the talk. He was the minister, but his wife was really savvy. Both of them were black. And the male pastor was sharing a story how he was approached by a according to him. And that gave him a proposition to have him in another church, a, a big church, to pull him out of the storefront church and to get a big one. Yep. And he thought, wow, wow, this person wants, he likes me, he thinks I'm important, and to start a, a church and he'll build it for me? Wow. I think he prayed about the matter. And something said, no, don't do it. So, okay, this is warfare. Why would it come to a, a poor black neighborhood and approach a black minister to start a church for him? He already got his own. What he had was his. It was a dinky small little room. He set it up himself. He's his own boss, as far as I know. And then he was selected. See, this minister, he was a savvy intellectual type. I mean, he, he is of his community. You know, he, he comes from where he comes from, you know, very modest uh, up, uh, upbringing. To my knowledge, I could be wrong, but just a just an average black man of his day. 
Stotha, storefront church, but he's an intellectual. You know, he 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 wants. It, it has a different twist to it. So even though it's storefront, but he attracts other similar-minded black folk. So I think there are spies that are being sent to these churches because he was a savvy black man and wanted them to use their mind and everything. Yeah, he, he, he had something. Yeah, he attracts, he, certain churches attract certain people. So if you have an intellectual minister, you're going to attract intellectual um, congregation. If you have a minister who's up the street, you're going to attract that same element. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that they had a <coughs> approach him and wanted to do business, why can't he go in, in <coughs> neighborhood and ask, hey, can we start a, a Christian church in our <coughs> or go in <coughs> community? Hey, we want to start a Christian church in yours. Why? Wouldn't you be more apt to go in your own community and 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 transform your community to one become Christians? I mean, you have what they call the um, now you have that. Now he could just start one of them. That that would make sense. Because see, this doesn't make sense to go cross cultural to someone that's so different from you. It's more than just being different. It's not that, per se. It's about motive. It's about, hey, let me do something spiritual for someone, but in actuality, I want to control you. That is my issue. I'm so glad that minister, that black minister, had enough common sense to say no. But I'm sure he's still being, you know, if he's still alive, that he's being watched. These churches are being watched. They're getting people to visit and reporting back to their, their headquarters. That's what I can see what's going on. Wow, this is something. The churches aren't what you, what you thought they were. Now they're networking those special big churches, they network with other similar magnitude churches. They take your photograph, they get your data, and I believe they use it because it's so computerized now, and I believe they send that information to similar churches. And that's what happened when, with the last church I was going, one, one of the yeah, the last church I went to in 2013. Yep. And I heard some bad things about it. Now, I, I left that church not because something bad. I just felt that it wasn't for me anymore, that I needed to expand. So it wasn't anything personal, but it, it wasn't, it, it, it didn't minister to me anymore. But since I left, I heard of somebody who attended that church and that they had targeted her, yep, and followed her to another country, yep. So see, folks, when you tie, you know, connect the dots together, they seem totally unrelated, but they are related, okay? So this is just food for thought. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.